Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another craft class. We're here in the studio at LDRS Creative, and we're so excited to be back. Yay, yay. <laughs> I've been reading everybody's comments as everybody's coming in. Uh, we have so many people here. I see Gail is here from Sterling Heights, Michigan. We're in Michigan, for those of you that don't know. So when you hear me calling out to Michigan, that's because that's where we are. Um, Andrea is here. Uh, Kim McDaniel is here. Helen, Sherry, who else is here? Margie, um, I know I saw a whole bunch of other names out there. I know Dieta, I saw Dieta's name out there. Looks like Linnea is here tonight with us. Hey girl. So many people, so if you haven't given us a shout out already, please do so. Angel, I see Angel coming in here too. Margie from Kentucky. Mary from Central Michigan. Central Michigan is actually the name of the university I went to as well. Yay, yay. <laughs> uh, who else is here? Teresa. Uh, Teresa Jarvis and Linda and Janet from Ohio. Oh, Linda's from South Dakota. People are everywhere. I love that. I think that is so cool. Let's see. Teresa, you're in Fremont, California. Oh, boy. So, so cool. Um, Alan, did you get um, a read on that yet? Okay. Um, who else is here? Um, Bernie is here from Pennsylvania. I saw that somebody was asking uh, Dieta if she was enjoying her prize that she had won um, a couple weeks back. And so I wanted to wanted Alan to check and make sure that all was good there because I didn't see her respond. And I know, I think I had seen somewhere that Dieta had, had put a message that Dieta, I think it was you, maybe I'm wrong, but had put a message out and said, hey, I was a winner or something and I thought, oh shoot, we didn't, we didn't have your information. So whenever somebody wins, and here's the thing, we always do a giveaway at the end of our lives. And whenever somebody wins, you have to send us, I, I mean, I'll tell you, hey, you're the winner. We'll give you an email address to send your information to us. And if we don't get that information, we can't send it. So we have to have that information. So make sure that if you win, you always give us that information. More people are coming in. Elsie is here and Deb is here from Minnesota. Um, Helen from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I actually have family in Pennsylvania. Um, so, so cool. Uh, Sherry is here from Livonia, Michigan. Yay, another Michiganian. Michigander, Michiganian. I never know which it is, so I don't know. Maybe you guys know. <laughs> oh, Sheila said that she received hers today. You are so, so welcome. Um, all right, so everybody, um, one more thing. When you win a prize or when you get your new products home, whatever it is, um, I would love to see what you guys make with them, what y'all make with them. Y'all. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've got a Facebook group. Um, and uh, I'd love for you guys to join that and share the stuff that you make with them because that's, isn't that the exciting part about, not the only exciting, the excitement in making something crafty is you've, you've made something, you know, with your own two hands and you get to give it to somebody. But part of, you know, our community is that we get to share with each other and we get to learn from each other and, um, and stuff. So please, 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 please make sure to share your projects with us. We absolutely love to see them. Right now, I, you know, you might be thinking, oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm nervous about doing that. You know, our design team shares um, projects out there all the time to inspire you guys and to, you know, maybe give you guys, you know, some, you know, some tutorials and stuff like that and, you know, what you can do. But, um, but that's not just for our design team. And I don't want everybody to, or anybody to ever think that maybe you won't share it because you're afraid that it's not good enough or that somebody isn't gonna like it or something like that. Um, keep in mind, all art is beautiful. And if you've created something from your heart, it's just wonderful to share it. And it's a fantastic and friendly community as well. So we would love to see the stuff that you guys make. Alrighty, so let's see what's going on here. It is, um, Oh, I feel like I'm overdressed. It's only like 40 degrees here in Michigan, and it's not warm enough for this sweater, but I really wanted to wear it. 40 degrees? 40 degrees. Yeah, when I looked at the temperature, it said it was only 40 degrees. I didn't know it was that warm. I'm freezing. Oh, well, he's always cold, but I really wanted to wear this sweater, and, and now I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, ah. Okay, so, huh? Yeah, the fan would be nice if you want to turn it on. All right, we're going to get rolling. We are four minutes in. We have a lot to do today. I actually did not, I didn't prep anything except for a card base and a card topper. That is it. I literally cut paper and that is it. Um, we're going to play with a new collection today and I got a few things we're going to play with. And I actually have a card that one of our design team um, members made. She is absolutely phenomenal. Her name is Alina and she did an absolutely gorgeous card. And I'm going to do this same card, um, changing up one little thing. 
But I love this card. I think it shows a lot of really neat technique and it shows off um, some of my favorite things in this collection. So we're going to, we're going to switch the cameras in a minute if my husband will get back to the button. <laughs> and I'm going to show you the card and we're going to get rolling. Ready? Yes. Go. Okay. This is the card. You guys may have seen this. It's actually uh, part of the, uh, the banner picture that we have um, um, on, our, on our website right now. And uh, I love this card. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I love, I, I especially love the little dots in the background. I think that is so, so cute. So I'm going to remake a version of this card. And um, of course, I'm gonna give a shout out to Alina who is probably not watching tonight. Um, but I think this is just so, so gorgeous. So I may not do it exactly with the same technique that she used or even maybe some of the same products because I'm not sure what she used for the dots there, but uh, I'm gonna try something, we're gonna figure it out. So we'll see. All right, what are we gonna be working with then? The November collection has one of my very, very favorite uh, sets in it. I love these stamp stencil die sets that, uh, that we do. And this time we've got the one called Flower Doodles and this is what I'm gonna be doing today. Um, so we're gonna be working with this. I will take you through this. I'll, I'll explain each of the products as I go through them so I don't waste a lot of time right now. But these three items here um, can all be used together. They all coordinate. Um, you can use the stamp on its own. You can use the stencils on its own and you can use the die with either, but you can also use these two together. So um, I'm gonna walk you through those. I'm gonna play with one of our new spotlight stencils today, and this one is going to be the beautiful heart spotlight. Um, the original card that Elena did, she used our circle spotlight, and I thought, well, you know what? Valentine's Day is gonna be right around the corner. I know, around the corner is technically Christmas. <laughs> but we're gonna pretend we're going around the second corner and that is going to be Valentine's Day. So I thought it'd be fun to do a heart. So for all of you that are, you know, done with your, you know, Christmas cards maybe, or you just want to uh, have a, you know, a little break from your Christmas stuff right now, this is the time to really pay attention. We're gonna do something for the next little holiday coming up and that's gonna be Valentine's Day. Um, so then I'm also gonna be using the dot to dot, which is um, what was used on those little dots in the background. They look like little bubbles. I think it's so cute. So, so cool. Okay, so these are all of the products that I'm gonna be using today, all right? Yay, aren't they gorgeous? Did you guys, did you notice the new blue on our packaging? Isn't that pretty? I just think it's so cheerful, I love it. Okay, so let's see, what did, somebody said, not the doodle flowers, right Angie? Um, no, I know, isn't that confusing? I realized that after, as we were putting the whole collection together, no, this is not doodle flowers, this is flower doodles. <laughs> We have another product that is this one right here that is called Doodle Flower. I know, isn't that confusing? My husband hates when I do that. He just rolls his eyes and shakes his head. Um, Doodle Flowers are, these are uh, uh, dimensional layering dies, all right? That's not what we're using today. Today we're using the Flower Doodles. I don't know, I, you know, I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I, I'm, I apologize. <laughs> I will ship them for the with, naming. I'll ship them whichever one I think they, they need. Alan says I'll ship them whichever one I think they're ordering. He's kidding. <laughs> He's kidding. Okay, so we're going to get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to stamp this so we can get the stamping um, over with and uh, get that moved off to the side. <laughs> Here's the only prep I did. Uh, the prep that I did is my card base. This is a really pretty blue. Um, and this started out as a, um, uh, oh, what is it called? An eight and a half by 11 uh, piece of cardstock. I cut it at four and a quarter all the way down vertically and then scored it at five and a half. And so now we have a, uh, a top folding A2 card base. Um, and then I have my card topper here. All of the white that I'm gonna be using is Nina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound cardstock. Uh, what else do I have going on here? Let's see. I have got my, this is black embossing powder. Yes, black. Anna, will you um, actually stay where, we are, where you are right now and then we'll change the camera in a moment. So let me explain this stamp set. This is a four by six stamp set. Um, on the back we always have the image showing you what it looks like when it's colored up. Um, but uh, 
when you look at this stamp set, this, this is one big stamp for all of these flowers. So it's going to stamp all of those at the same time. And then we have um, the sentiment here that says, nothing compares to you and thinking of you always. And, uh, you know, the, when we do these stamp sets, we do them this way so that it's really easy. You can stamp everything at once. You can color everything at once. You can cut all of your, your images all at once as well. So it just makes it that much faster. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready with this one. I'm going to emboss it in black. I want a little bit of texture on it. And now I haven't stamped with this yet, so I'm just going to give this a quick little rub all over the stamp set just to get off any, you know, excess chemicals or whatever. It's like a little prep of the stamp. Um, and then I have black embossing powder, so Alan's going to go ahead and um, Switch the camera for me. You know, any, any embossing powder will do. Switch? Yeah, go ahead and switch, please. And then I have, this is our, our watermark um, ink pad. Um, if you have one that says watermark, sometimes it'll say embossing, embossing ink pad or embossing pad or something like that. Um, this is what I'm going to use. And then, of course, I have my 20-year-old um, anti-static pouch here. Seriously, I've had this like forever and ever and ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this inked up. Whenever I'm stamping with an embossing um, ink or watermark ink, um, I always worry, did I, did I ink that up well? Did it, did it transfer well? I, you know, I just never know. So I always do it a couple of times just to make sure I've got, you know, good coverage with it. Using my Stampendable to get nice even pressure without hurting um, or exhausting my hand. I'm going to go ahead and ink this up again. Use my Stampendable again. Alrighty. And then I'm going to go ahead now and get this covered. Try not to cover everything on my craft space here. Go this way a little bit. You want to get that any excess off of there. Alan, will you give me a teeny tiny little brush over there? One of the real skinny little brushes. I have a little excess up in here. Wait a minute, let me get that. That didn't actually cover very well. You know what, maybe I can get it off of there. No, I need the brush. No, the teeny tiny, teeny tiny folks. See, see how that's not teeny tiny? <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> Is this teeny tiny? No, honey, there's some that have like, you can barely even see the tip of the brush. Well, how am I They're so, see? so tiny. How's this? <sighs> Here. There we go. It's okay, I got it. Here's your <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's my, here is a teeny tiny, this is teeny tiny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You weren't specific in what needed to be teeny tiny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I knew it would be my fault somehow. <laughs> All righty. Okay. <laughs> so, got that on there. Use a brush if you need to to get any little bits off of there that you don't want. My goodness, I got a whole stash of these things here, these paint brushes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I always like to heat up the, um, the heat tool just so that I put heat on my paper and image for, you know, as little as I have to. Just move this around so you get that all heated up. 
Sometimes it helps to look at it like at an angle to make sure you got it all too. Make sure the light catches it. All right, let me make sure the light catches it and I can see that I got everything. I think I did. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to set that aside to, um, let's move this out of the way. I'm just going to set that aside now to, it'll cool off and it'll just kind of sit over there and wait for me for a moment. All right, clean up any excess off of here. And I am going to put my stamp away. I like putting my stamps away. I don't like losing my stuff. And I certainly don't want to leave it out and get fuzzies all over it. That would drive me bonkers. Um, here it is. There we go. So I'm going to set this aside right now. I'm going to put it actually aside with that for now. And then the next thing we're going to do is get these stencils out and talk about these stencils for a moment while my image dries, over, not dries, but cools over there. I'm sure it's cooled already. It doesn't take that long. Um, let me get these out of here. So there's four stencils in here. And on the back, we show you, you know, what each stencil looks like, how you layer them up. And here we talk about the gray outlines on the images here that indicate um, the alignment guides. Those are little etched alignment guides. So um, each of your stencils is going to have a number. And let me come in to a little bit closer. There you go. So each of your stencils is going to have a number. It's usually going to be alphanumeric. There, you can see it kind of in the corner there. It says 1A. Now your first stencil is not going to have alignment guides on it. This is a, the stencil you can place anywhere on your page um, to go ahead and start stenciling. When you get to your second stencil, and this one is 1B, so your second stencil, see when it catches the light, you see those little etched lines there? Those etched lines are going to be the same as the, out, as the cutouts, most of them, on, that are, are, are on your previous stencil. And you're going to line those up around what you've just stenciled. So the alignment guides are right on the stencils, and that means that you're going to be able to stencil anywhere on your page and always be able to line it up. You do not have to worry about you know, oh my goodness, I have to make sure I stencil everything in the bottom corner or, you know, to line everything up and you don't have to worry about anything like that. Your guides are always there. So we're going to start stenciling. We're going to start with uh, stencil 1A and I'm going to grab a couple of inks. Now on this one we've got, this is going to be our flowers, our base color for our flowers. Let me get my inks up here real quick so I can see what I've got going on. So I have two colors for the pinks that I'm going to be working with. I've got um, the first one is Soft Kisses, which is a really pretty light pink. And then we're going to graduate to Tickled Pink, which is my favorite pink. <laughs> what? Alan, Sheila, why did you say Angie likes bugs in her salad? Where has it's the conversation sugary. gone? <laughs> She said we needed bugs. Oh my goodness. And Linnea said you don't like bugs. No, I don't like I bugs. And I, like bugs in your oh, that was, that's a horrible story. <laughs> that's just a horrible, horrible story. That's a real story. <laughs> I, <laughs> I actually made myself a wonderful salad. I had beautiful mixed greens, filled it up with everything. I had my dressing on it. I was literally getting ready to pick it up and go carry it to the table and sit down. And my fork was kind of kind of hanging out of the bowl a little bit. And out of the corner of my eye, I saw movement. I kid you not, I saw movement. It was horrible. And I looked and coming up, climbing up my fork was this, like this color green, lime green spider crawling up the handle of my fork. I'm getting itchy as I'm talking about this. It was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. I didn't eat salad for months after that. <laughs> <laughs> Kid you not. Okay, so we're going to start with a beautiful light pink. So your base coat is usually going to be your lightest color because you want to get your lighter colors down first and then you can layer over with darker colors. So I'm going to start with soft kisses. Let me get my little, this is my, you know, messy, messy towel here that I just like to wipe off on if I need to. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this beautiful soft pink to everything here on this particular stencil. This is stencil 1A. Pretty, pretty soft pink. I'm gonna come in a little bit darker. You can do this as light or as soft as you want. I mean, it really is completely up to you. But I'm gonna go bright, I think. Nice and springy, actually. So pretty. Okay. Wipe off any excess. I am now done with this stencil, and I'm going to move over to my next stencil. Um, I love this tape. This tape is so wonderful. It is, um, the tape is from uh, scrapbook.com. It is their mint tape, my favorite tape to use. Just wiping off with a little bit of water on, on that and uh, moving on to the next one. So I'm going to reuse that tape. Now I'm going to line up these alignment guides here. Remember those alignment guides? I'm going to line those up now with my, um, my image that I've already stamped and stenciled a little bit. Let me get this lined up perfectly. That looks pretty good. Tape it down just a little bit to hold everything in place. And now I'm going to move on to my next brush. Make sure all of the little bristles are nice and soft. There we go. This one is tickled pink. What, Alan? Sheila said you'd be safe with doodle bug stamps because they only go where you want them. <laughs> Didn't we have a bug set at one point? Uh, a bug um, set? I thought, it was a, I thought we had a bug set at one point. Yeah, a bug set didn't sound like something I would do. <laughs> I think it was um, doodles. Somehow it just doesn't sound like me. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, you know, it's funny because I, it's, it's interesting what you learn about people like right now, you just kind of learned that I will probably never do a bug set. Um, <laughs> but uh, just because I don't like bugs and it's interesting. I remember being at HSN once and um, one of the hosts was, uh, came over to me. She needed a stamp. She was working with another product. I think she was doing something with American Crafts or something like that, or We Are. and. Um, and she came over and asked me if, she, if we had any stamps. She needed a stamp to do to use in her demo, and um, I'm like, sure, here. You know, I had some stamps, and the look on her face was kind of funny because what we what I had were I I I don't know what characters they were, but they were people. And she said that she doesn't like ever ever like to use stamps that have faces on them because they freak her out. <laughs> and I went, alrighty then, okay. <laughs> That. How about my face? Is that freaking you? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now I'm going to move on to 2A. All right. I'm going to lay this over here. Now we're going to move on to the leaves. And we're going to move on to like the little centers of the flowers here too. Now we do try and keep the number of stencils to a minimum in order to keep the cost down for everybody, but it also so that we, you know, don't have to keep changing out and using so many stencils. Um, so this one does have multiple colors on it. <laughs> so you want to be a little bit careful and we might get involved with a little more tape. Um, and I'm realizing right now, Alan, can you get my yellow uh, brush over there? My yellow blending brush? I forgot to grab that one. Okay. Yep, that one right there. That's one, that's yeah. yellow. I think that's yellow. Well, that looks like, no. Get the other. Get the lighter yellow. Yeah, you you were right in hesitating. I'm sorry. All right, this is my yellow. And see how it's a little bit hard? That's because I didn't clean it, <laughs> I, and I left a lot of ink on it. So I'm just going to kind of go through here and just soften it up a little bit. There we go. And see now it's nice and soft again. It's beautiful. All right, so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover up any areas where I don't want to get green, like the center of my flowers here, for example. Uh, there we 
we go. A little bit here in the center of that flower. And just cover up these tiny little spots. Actually, that one might just work right there. No, that's going to be too big. There we go. Just cut it into little, or tear it into little pieces. There we go. And then I need one more right here. Just that little one. Okay. Now I'm going to move on to green. And my first green is going to be key lime pie. And then my second green is going to be four leaf. So I have a light and a dark. So I'm going to start with key lime pie, key lime pie. And I, I don't know what happened to me, Alan. I don't have my green brush either. <sighs> Whoever prepped this did not prep ve very well. Um, give me a, do you have a light green and a dark green? I have three greens. All right, let, show me the greens. <laughs> show me what you got, what you really, really get. There we go. These two. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Somebody's not paying attention when she's prepping. All right, so now I'm going to go over my green. There we go. Now this is a bright green. Looks kind of yellowy. It's like a lime kind of a green, which is going to be a really pretty base to the other green. The next green is going to be like kind of really bright and beautiful. Real like green, green, green. All right. Blooming bugs. Blooming bugs? Remember blooming bugs? I do not remember blooming bugs. I don't think that was ours. I think that was a polka doodle one. Yes, it was a polka doodle. Okay. I'm sure it's adorable. I just don't recall it. Okay. Now I'm just going to kind of move things around. Actually, yes, I am. I'm going to move things around a tiny little bit because I want to get the centers of the flowers that I was just covering up. But I don't want to get... Um, colors in those other areas, like in on the green. Does that make any sense? Am I speaking properly? I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Oops, I think this is one here that I need to uncover. There we go. All right. Let me do it this way. There's one. There's two. Let me tear that one. that one and then there I am gonna cover up that leaf a little bit right there just in case okay so I'm gonna do yellow here um, and I'm gonna do yellow in those centers as well so I've got this beautiful yellow which is my banana cream pie doesn't it just make you makes me hungry I shouldn't be hungry I already ate a banana cream pie just sounds <laughs> lovely, doesn't it? <laughs> sure does to me. Okay. So, I get my yellow here. And get that real bright right in there. Doesn't take a lot. Just a tiny little bit. There we go. Beautiful yellow. Done with that color. See how fast and easy it is? Look how pretty. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. What happened here? Oh no, I bet you. Remember when I said I had to lean it to make sure? <gasps> I must not have done that very well. I didn't. Uh, it's all brushing off. Oh, I'm a goofball. All right. We're going to do a little fix. Remember when I said I had to make sure I heated everything? I don't think I heated that around a couple of these. So, 
this is what I would do. Oh my, my, my. So some of my embossing powder, I didn't melt it. And it's coming right off. And I'm not happy. Has that ever happened to you? Happens to me all the time. Happens to you all the time? Yeah. Well, it's happening. I didn't get it. No, I won't be able to stamp it perfectly again. So I'm actually going to draw my lines in. And I'm sure it'll be all right. Not easy having a... Notice I'm using a brush to get it off of there instead of with my hand because I don't want to smear anything. But I am going to fix this. That's why it's very important to make sure that you have heated the entire image. Sorry, I'm being a little quiet here because I don't want to mess it up. And if anybody's wondering what marker I'm using to do this, this is a, see I have that embossing powder is on there. It's getting on there. This is a Copic Multi-Liner. It's the 0.3. Um, it's a really great way to fix something if you, I did not heat this well at all. Okay. I think it looks pretty good though. Okay. But that's a really good way to fix. Okay. See, I make, I make mistakes on purpose so that I can show you how to fix them. Remember? <laughs> All righty. Let's see if I can get all these off of here. Because I want to wipe any excess ink off of my stencil. So these have ink all over them. I'm not going to reuse these pieces. But I am going to get this wiped up. There we go. Now we're going to move on to stencil 2B. Or not to be. That is the question. <laughs> All right. Line that up. I can see those lines. I can see what I'm lining up with. I can also look at my image to make sure I'm lining it up properly as well. But sometimes you just need to do a few little tweaks. And having those alignment guides on there really make all the difference. There we go. I'm getting my tape a little bit on the stencil and a little bit on the paper so that they stay together. And now my last color is going to be four leaf. What is that, Angie? Your nose is growing? Did I lie about something? Uh oh. What did I lie about? Uh-oh. I don't know. I don't think I lied. Did I lie? You know what? I have the wrong green. There's a darker, darker green over there that I need. See that green? Could you be more specific? You know, get the, just give me the green brush that's... Alan, look over there at the brush. Brush? Yep, the brush. Okay. That one. Yeah, give me that okay. green. Sorry. I wasn't sure what... No, this isn't the right one either. Hmm. You All right, just take that back. I'm going to use this one. <laughs> All right, so this is four leaf. And now you're going to see these leaves just come to life. Because we're going to have that beautiful dark color in there with that um, like lime green. And they're just going to be so bright and so pretty. Mistakes on purpose. As well. Oh, <laughs> you don't think I'm doing all these mistakes on purpose? <laughs> Nobody thinks I'm doing it on purpose. 
I don't know. I'll never tell. <laughs> what movie is that from? <laughs> what movie is that from? I'll never tell. Look at how pretty that is. With those two colors, I love that. I might actually go over that light one again, but I don't know. I like having the big difference in colors. I think it's really pretty. All right, get that cleaned up. Ah, let's see. Look at how gorgeous. Oh my gosh, if that isn't spring, it's screaming spring. Spring. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my stencils away. There we go. And now we're going to get the dye ready for Mr. Hunt. Judy's, Judy's Loft of Design. Welcome, Judy. Who else is here that I've... Oh, Sandy's here, it looks like. Hi, Sandy. Rita is here. Welcome. All right, let's see. Let's put these out here. Actually, I can use these, the same pieces of tape here. I'm going to get these all lined up. And then Alan is going to run these through the machine. He just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> mm. Let's put this one over here. Mr. Hunt? Yes. I need you. Okay. So he's going to run that through the machine. And while he is doing that, I am going to get a couple of things out that I need to work with. I'm going to be crafting with next. So I'm getting my heart light, heart light, my heart spotlight stencil. I'm going to pull this out of here. There we go. And it's two stencils. I'll talk about those in a moment. We've got this going on now. Get this off of here, set my tape aside, because it's still sticky. I'm telling you, scrapbook.com, their tape is awesome. It's still sticky. I've used it several times now. Let's get all of these off of here. One pass through the die cutting machine. Pop all these little pieces out. If I can get a hold of it. There we go. So one pass through the die cutting machine, and it cuts all of my floral pieces apart for me. Look how beautiful. So now I have six florals that I can play with. And the great thing about that set too is that you can, you know, you can stamp a bunch of these, stencil them all, die cut them all, and you can do them all in all kinds of different colors. And then you can just create a beautiful like wildflower garden with a whole bunch of them and just have tons of colors sitting, you know, just in little piles. And you can mass produce a whole bunch of cards. Love those. So we're going to set those aside. I'm going to grab another card topper. And now I have my spotlight stencil. The spotlight stencil is what we used to create that beautiful circle on the back, but we used the circle one. And now I'm going to use the heart. And let me see if I can get this in the light. You see all the measurements, all the lines. They're not, they're not measurements. We don't have measurements written on there, but um, we have lines on there. And those guides are going to help you line up um, with your cards. So I'm going to line this up, the edges here. So I have the edge here. See that edge and it goes all the way down here? That is my A2. So when I line up those edges, um, it's going to make sure that my heart is going to be centered um, on my card. Now, if I line up the top edge, the bottom edge, and all around, I, I have this, I have the heart now is centered in the middle of my card. I'm actually going to raise it up ever so slightly, but I'm still going to maintain those side lines. And I'm going to raise it up a little bit because I want to put my sentiment at the bottom, um, but I can still make sure left to right is lined up. And I'm raising it up about, maybe about half of an inch up. I'm just guesstimating. But I'm using those guides on the side to make sure that they are still straight on my card. 
my card base. And I'm going to put the tape at the bottom here so it tapes not only the stencil but also my card in place. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put another piece up at the top. I want to make sure that this stays in place. All right. So the guides are there. They're there if you want to do a square card. They're there if you want to um, have your, if I wanted to have my card go in this direction. I've got guides going for my A2 that if I want it you know, to be uh, landscaped as well. Um, you can use the guards like a, guides for, for square cards, for like four inch cards, I think maybe five, five and a half, something. I can't remember the exact measurements but um, offhand, but beautiful, beautiful um, guides on there to help you make sure that you have everything straight and centered. Um, so now we're going to start. Now, this is, now the, the little heart is open in the center. So that's where my ink is going to go. If I wanted to do the reverse and I wanted to just and I wanted to stencil around the heart, then I would use this piece here and I would create something like this. We did this one by placing the heart down and then we color blended around it. All right, so we, we included that piece for a reason and we have the measurement. This is a three and a quarter by three inch heart. There you go. All right, and you're going to find which with each of our spotlight stencils that you have the, the positive and the negative piece in there so that you have a lot of options when you are um, going to be working with them. So I'm going to start off by using um, some of the same colors like the yellow and some of the green. So I'm going to start off with the banana cream pie and I'm going to stencil or uh, color blend a little bit in the bottom here with banana cream pie. All right. So you just put some of that on there. Such a pretty yellow. I love this yellow because it's, um, it's bright, summery, and it's not real golden. So there is my yellow. My next color is going to be a little bit of that lime, that key lime pie, that limey green color. All right, so I have my brush for that. Is this the right brush or is this the right brush? Doot, doot, doot. I think this is the right one. All right, so get some of that green. And I'm going to do this kind of gently. I don't want to cover up all of that yellow but I just want to get a little bit of green in there. Just a little, little bit. Now I'm going to move over to tiny little bit of four leaf. And I'm going to be very careful again because I don't want a ton of this. Just a little bit. I can always add more once I get all of my colors on here, but I won't be able to remove a color that I don't want. Okay? So keep that in mind. So there is my green. Now I'm going to add a beautiful Marina Madness, which is my favorite sky blue. I love this color. Love, love, love it. Uh, which one is it? It is this one. Beautiful, beautiful color. And this is a light, light blue color. It's a really pretty nice soft blue. I'm going to bring that right down into that green a bit. I'm going to start pulling colors together and just kind of blending them in. All right, so here's some of that beautiful blue. I'm going to put that one aside. 
And now I'm going to go a little bit more of a blue green with tropical sea. Up at the top just to deepen that. I'm going to try and get that out of the way so I don't drag my sweater through it. That would not make me happy. Okay, so I'm bringing that kind of around a little bit. A little bit brighter maybe in the center there. I'm going to cover it up. I always cover my inks because I don't want to grab the, I don't want to dip into the wrong one. And so now I want to start bringing these colors together a bit. So I'm going to go back to my key lime and do a little more here of that. Just a wee bit. And then back to banana cream pie and blend that up into that green a little more. Just to kind of bring those colors together and transition a little more smoothly between them. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. I love doing this. This part is like very soothing to me. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put all of these away, clean my brushes off a little bit. And wipe any excess off of here. Now I'm going to leave this on here right now. Oh, I'm going to do something that's going to make me a wee bit nervous. A wee, I, a wee bit nervous because I haven't done it yet. <laughs> now I'm grabbing my dot to dot stencil. And I haven't done this yet. We're going to play. We're going to hope that this works out. And I'm going to put this over the top of it. Like that. And here's the thing. I was, I was going to use... Um, our white um, ink pad. But because it's all hybrid ink, I have hybrid ink that I've put down here already. Our white ink pad, uh, Snowy White, is also hybrid ink. If you're using the same type of ink over the same type of ink, the colors are going to blend. So if I were to go over this, top, or the, over this hybrid ink with um, the Snowy White hybrid ink, my colors are going to blend together. I'm not going to have a true white. Um, so I'm going to play and see what I can get with this. I've just kind of started digging through my craft stash and thought, well, what do I have? <laughs> what is it? This is just a white, uh, it's a, it's just a white paint. Um, it's, it's Windsor and Newton. Um, it's just a white paint. We're going to see how we do. How my Alan's asked me questions. I'm going to apply it with this little brush here that I have dampened ever so slightly. It's not wet. It's literally just dampened a bit. Um, we're going to see what happens. Oh, shoot. Gosh. Oh, my gosh. Do you have to wear it? No, but I'm so glad I didn't swear right then. <laughs> I almost got permanent white paint on my favorite new sweater. <laughs> oh, my, 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 my. That could have been very bad. <laughs> For more ways, more ways than one. All right, I'm just going to dip into this and uh, see how we do. Do you need to test it first? Nope, I'm just going it? right in. All right. We're going to see if I ruin it. So far I don't see much. So I'm going to do, I need a little more paint. I think there's the water, I think it's like watered down. I didn't get enough. There we go. Squish a bunch out and try not to. All right, I'm going to roll up this sweater. Because that's just going to be very upsetting if I get it all messy. There we go. Make sure I don't have too much. There we go. I'm getting white little dots. This is this is some of the fun part about crafting that um, I don't get to do or I don't do often. Like we get to play. It's almost like you know 
playing like making mud pies you don't do it anymore <laughs> this stuff is just like oh, how fun let's see how we did I got dots yay I got dots I love it how cute is that all right dry them off dry them off because I'm going to reposition and do some more I'm still wet. Get my head in there. I'm drying it off. All right, I'm going to reposition and do some more. See if I can do it without maybe overlapping a little bit, but not too much. <laughs> I can see them through it, so I want to. I do want to do a little overlapping, but not a lot. There we go. Oop, I need more. <laughs> I don't want to water this down because I don't want it all leaking out, like through the stencil, because I don't want it watery. So I'm just going to move this little puppy over a wee bit. There we go. So this is, this is pretty dry. I mean, it's paint, but it's like, maybe do it a little bit lighter this time so that the first one really stands out more and the second one is maybe a little more cloudy let me see <gasps> that looks cool that looks so cool they look like little bubbles i want something in the middle here that i don't have so Oh, Angel says I should dry with a heat tool. That's a great idea. But that looks cool. Yay! <laughs> Angela, will you go rinse that in the sink? Uh, okay. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and I've got water here. Let me get that on there. Wipe that up. Wipe that up. I love having a glass mat. All right. Sorry, I'm just wiping the excess off of here, too. All right, will you go wipe that up for me, please? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, honey. All right. Oh, that looks so pretty. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm really excited about this because it worked. <laughs> it's always the big question, the unveiling, like the reveal, right? Is it oh, there was one more thing I wanted to do. I know what it was too. I'm glad I thought about it. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. I need some scrap paper. I'm going to protect my surface here a bit just with some scrap paper. I should be protecting what I'm wearing. <laughs> I'm going to spritz a little bit of gold on it. Let me get my gold paint here. It's playtime, folks. All right, I have this really cool little fan brush. Isn't that fun? And I have some water up here. And I'm going to go, I'm gonna go with this one. I almost wanna stand up, just so I don't flick this on my clothing. I think I'm going to. I'm gonna stand up, because if I get this on me, I'm gonna be really upset. All right, so first I'm going to test it over here. See how we do. Make sure I don't have too much. Because I just want little dots of it. Yeah, I'm not getting enough. 
<laughs> it's going everywhere I don't want it to go, except for where I want it to go. That's always a joy. More water. Get the excess off. All right. I see why you made those stamps. There we go. <laughs> Just get these little dots in there. There we go. Now it's coming off. Now those are just going to dry kind of gold. We're going to leave it at that because I don't want a lot. just want a little. We're going to set that aside and let that dry. All right, Alan, let me move this over here. Oh, Alan says, I see why. <laughs> yes, I should have used those stamps, shouldn't I? That would have been, no, because these are, this is, um, this is an ink that I'm working with. So I just have like little bits of gold in there. Let's move all that paint aside. And I'm going to lift this up. Get the gold off of here. All right. So I have a couple of little gold splatters on there that are just going to give it a little bit of shine. I'm going to set that aside to dry and move this little baby over. This is weird. I'm standing up and crafting, and I never stand up and craft. Feels unnatural for me. Okay. Put that away. Now, oh, no, wait a minute. I need the heart. Ah! Come here, you. So I need the heart. Now I'm going to grab these little flowers. And I'm going to arrange the flowers on here. Where's my seat? Let me pull up my chair again. Okay. All right, so let's see. This is where I'm going to arrange these just a little bit so I can kind of see them. See little bits of them. But I don't want to cover up too much. You know, the circle was larger, right? So I don't want to cover up too much of this heart. Okay, so I'm going to put a tiny little bit of tape on the back of each of these little flowers, just a little smidgen, like so. So that it'll stay in the position that I want it to be. But just a little bit. It, I can remove it because it's just like a plastic. And then, actually let's do this one over here. Maybe like that. And then I could put this in the middle. You're wondering why I'm doing this? <laughs> I will show you in a moment. Hmm. And then maybe I could tuck this in here a bit. I don't think I like that. Sorry, this is where you got to play a bit. Just, I don't want to ruin my, there we go. This can go kind of like that. And then this can go here. I can cover that one up a bit. All right, so that one I'm not going to worry about. That one I think I'm just going to get rid of. And I can tuck that in a little bit afterwards. But these are the three that I'm going to keep on here like this, I think. All right, and the reason I'm putting these on here is I now want to trim these a little bit so that they're going to fit 
around that heart. And so I'm going to trim the backs off, the back side around the heart. Huh? It's see how it's hanging over. Anything that hangs over the heart. What? What's wrong? No, I'm not just trimming the stems. Anything that hangs over the heart, but this one I do want to hang over a little bit, actually. No, you're right. It's just the stems. I think you are right. I want because the flowers are going to hang over. It's just the stems. Okay. Mm. Yeah. It's just the stems. And the hard part's going to be repositioning it afterwards, right? Try not to cut into that stencil. There we go. And I'm going to leave that flower. There we go. Ah. So that's how it will look when I position it on here. So I have that ready. I'm going to let that sit for a moment. I'm going to get my topper ready. And I'm going to make I'm going to trim my topper just a little bit. So I'm going to trim I'm going to trim an eighth. I want, to, I want it to be a quarter, like an eighth of an inch smaller on all sides. So I'm going to literally trim an eighth of an inch off of each side. Had I trimmed it before I um, started working on it, I could have just trimmed a quarter inch off of the two sides. But I want to keep that heart centered now. So now I'm trimming an eighth of an inch off of each of the four sides. There we go. Okay. Before I put the flowers on, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. Because Will might be screaming, sentiment! <laughs> is this dry now? Let's hope so. Should be. Yes, that gold is now dry. It's so pretty. I love it. Now I need my stamp set. And I'm going to use Always Thinking of You. And just like my card sample, which I have managed to lose, I'm going to stamp it off to the side there a little bit. There we go. Let's make sure that's straight and it is not. Let me try that again. There we go. Much better. First time stamping it, so I'm just going to go ahead and prep it a little bit. Let me see if I can find my Raven ink, Get my Stampendable already. Brand new stamp. I might have to stamp it a couple of times, but we're going to see how we do. It actually looks really good, but I want it to be really dark and really crisp. And one of the great things about the hybrid inks is that the color layers. So by adding a second one, it's going to make it even richer, and I love that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean with my Extreme Clean just to make sure that I don't leave any excess on my stamp. There we go. And I put this away. Again, I don't like to get fuzzies all over my stamps, so I do like to put them away as I go. one I think goes in here. And then here's the one for my stamp. There we go. So we're almost done. Almost done. Oops, here's the ones that I need. 
So this is actually going to fit just like that. Really, really pretty. Just beautifully. I'm going to go ahead real quick and put some foam on the back of this. I'm going to mount this to my card topper, or my card base, I'm sorry. And we're going to go ahead and finish up this card. This is my uh, Scotch um, double-sided tape, double-sided foam tape that I love so much. Make sure my card is opening in the right direction. I don't want to put that on there upside down. That would be upsetting and it would be something I would do. <laughs> see if I can get that centered. There we go. Now, what What do you want to say? Use your mint tape on it. What? Use what? Put mint tape over the top of it so you can transfer it in one piece. Um, I could, but I don't think I need to worry about it. Okay. Um, but I am going to go ahead. I want this piece on first. Ann was suggesting I put the mint tape on the back of or on the front of everything, which is a really good idea, but I might move things over a little bit. I'm not sure. We'll see. I like to have the freedom of placement. on here. And let's do that one. So this is where I have to decide what I want to tuck and what I don't want to tuck. Like where I want them, what I want in front of the other. One foot in front of the other. I love that song. Okay. So this one has very specific placement. You can see where that's going to line up. So that one is going to go first. And you can tell based on where it's trimmed, how it's trimmed. This comes right into the corner there. There we go. Look how pretty. Already it's beautiful. <laughs> and Dieta says it needs a ladybug. <laughs> so this one, I'm not sure. I might just tuck that right like that. And then this one here, I can have like more up here, I think. Or maybe I bring this one here. I think that one was like that. And then this one can tuck in here. Yep, I like that. That's pretty. So you still have a little bit of room to kind of play with the arrangement. As long as you have those, those cuts, those angles of those cuts right. You know, that little bit of an angle that goes along the side of that heart. I'm going to lift that piece up, I think, a little bit. Bring that out like that. So pretty. I think I can still put a little leaf down in there. So we're going to see if I can tuck that in there. Because it looks like I have a little bit of space. Just to tuck one more leaf in and make, maybe fill up a little bit. So I'm going to get some adhesive on that. 
Um, I'm actually going to use my liquid adhesive. Just kind of fill in a little space there. Cut that down. There we go. I don't think I need this one at all. I think I'm going to leave it just as it is. I think it looks really pretty. Yay! It worked. And I'm very, very happy. I like it when things work out. <laughs> so it's slightly different than the original one. So I used a heart. The arrangement is a little bit different. Um, it's just a different take on it. Here, the, 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 white, uh, the little white dots, the stenciling in the background is a little bit darker. I went a little bit softer on this one because I used softer, um, a lighter cardstock. Um, but I think it is absolutely beautiful and I love it. I love the technique. I love the products. I love the flowers. I think it is just so, so cute. Yay. Very, very happy. All righty. Mr. Hunt, mm -hmm. you ready to switch us? I am. <laughs> All right, everybody, that was so fun, and I'm so glad it worked out. Yay! I seriously, I'm so happy it worked out. So pretty. I love these, and I, I, I was so excited to be able to bring uh, these spotlight stencils out and do a whole, whole set of them. I think they're absolutely amazing, and they're going to work with so many images, whether you're working with florals or if you're working with, um, with characters. I just think they're just so, so cute. I think there's, I just love them. I love them. So I hope you guys like this too. Yay. All right. It is time for a giveaway. Yay. And I'm thinking, you know what I'm thinking? No. I, I think <laughs> the giveaway is going to be wow. all four of those spotlight stencils. Wow. Okay. So that's going to be a good giveaway. Yay. Four of them, all four of them. So the winner's gonna get the heart, the circle, the rectangle, and, I'm sorry, the rectangle and the square. <laughs> it's been a long time since I learned my shapes, so you have to be a little forgiving. <laughs> all right, who's the winner, Mr. Hunt? I think you gave me a name over here. Ah, Barbara Cohn. Barbara Cohn, K-O-H-N. Barbara, you are tonight's winner. You have won all four of the Spotlight Stencils. Congratulations. Barbara, please, I need you to send your full name. Um, the last name is spelled K-O-H-N. So Barbara, I'm assuming it's Cohn. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Or maybe it's Khan. I don't know. But anyway, I need you to send your, uh, your name Send your complete mailing address to customer service at ldrscreative.com. It's the only way we will be able to ship your awesome prize to you. Yay! Congratulations, Barbara. Thank you, everybody, for showing up tonight. I truly appreciate all of the time that you spend with us. I hope you like the card. I loved it. So, so fun. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic evening and a wonderful, wonderful weekend. We will be back here again uh, next Thursday night, 7 p.m. I have no idea what I'll be working with, but it will be from our new November collection, and I can't wait to see you guys again. Thanks, everybody. Have a fantastic night. Bye.